from a sunny Solihull today. It is quite nice day actually. It's Monday the 9th of January. I'm sat in the car because I bought the car today to go for an MOT. Um, I don't know how I always get this job but I've been here a few times recently in the last few months to do a few different MOTs. Um, so that's that and behind me is a massive Hobbycraft so while the car is being MOT'd I'm going to go into Hobbycraft, have a look around and see what they've got on their sale today. I don't know if it'll be any good because I went in a couple of days after Christmas, in between Christmas and New Year and it wasn't that good but um, things could have been added I suppose to the sale so I'll go and see. Let me go in and get this car checked in to the MOT place to the MOT garage um, see how long it's going to be it's normally about an hour and then what I'm going to do is go into Hobbycraft have a look around in there and there's also a Lidl's and stuff here so I might go and have a look in there for some food shopping so let's have a wander around this retail park <laughs> MOT thankfully so that's one thing less to worry about so there was a couple of little advisories on it but nothing major so that's good just take this thingy off pop it in its little bag so Hobbycraft was a bit disappointing there wasn't very much stuff reduced from Christmas um, there's a couple of little things I did pick up a Grinch um, like stocking kit but I didn't um, I didn't actually end up buying it in the end because it was £4 and I thought I do quite like it but am I realistically going to have time to do it? Probably not so I decided against getting that I did get some A3 300GSM white cardstock purely for cake toppers um, that was £10 for the A3 size for 50 sheets which I thought was pretty good, but I had a £5 off birthday coupon from the Hobbycraft Club, so I used that. So that made it £5, which makes it an absolute steal. Yeah, I went to Lidl's, I got some of the weekly shops, a couple of things I couldn't get from Lidl's because they don't actually stock everything the same as a normal supermarket, do they? So I got a couple of bits. I went into the M&S Food Hall here as well and got some of their ham because we like that for lunches for the kids at school where else did I go oh I went into TK Maxx and I got a birthday present for Harley he's needed a new rucksack backpack thing so I've got him one of those from TK Maxx I looked at the sunglasses in there as well because these ones are completely trashed um and about 10 years ago actually it's longer than that 
how old is Harley? 16 next week. So it's been 15 years ago I had laser eye surgery, corrective vision surgery. And um, since then, my eyes have been very sensitive to light. So I wear sunglasses even when it's relatively dull. Um, so when it's sunny like it is today, I definitely need to wear them. So I need a new pair. I've had these a long, long time and they are completely trashed. Look at the ends on them. Um, so yeah, so I looked at them, but there wasn't really anything that I liked or that I fancied. So I'll probably have another look in a couple of months. Hopefully the sock will have rotated by then and I'll be able to get something that I like. Um, but yeah, for now we are done and we're going to go home. I've got a couple of cake tops I need to make. My cake lady sent me through some more last night that she wants for this week. So we've got quite a busy week this week for cake toppers. I have a couple of neon ones off Etsy to make. I did five yesterday that went out in the post last night so they are done and dusted i bought my new mickey bag out with me today i had this one for christmas i've got lots of lounge flies and they are all hanging in the craft room on the wall but i love this one it's got fireworks inside it and on the outside it's actually a parks exclusive one but they were selling it on disney on the shop disney website before christmas so i got it and then had it for christmas from my other half so love this bag super super sparkly and really nice now i'm back it's just time to unpack all the shopping that i got and pack everything away morning everybody today's tuesday it's a really rainy day again i'm getting a little bit fed up of this weather because it just makes things so difficult with the dogs they get really really soggy underneath because they're spaniels they're really fluffy and they hate being dried and it just takes forever for them to dry max has actually got a double coat as well so because of that he ends up sort of retaining water which is awful so i'm going to wait till later and hopefully it's going to dry off a little bit they are quite happy sleep in their bed down here at the moment so whilst they are happy i'm gonna leave them to it i have got lots to do today there's lots of cake toppers to make i just seem to be making cake toppers constantly at the moment it's absolutely fine i'm not complaining i do really enjoy making them i also really want to try and sort out this up here for christmas i had these little it's a christmas village this one is the North Pole Candy Striper and I've also got the North Pole Electricity Company and it's got like a globe on it that when you touch it you get like lightning out of it. That one's still in the kitchen and I really want to keep these up all year round because I just love them and because I had this for Christmas I didn't really get a chance to get it out and get it on display. So I'm going to put that up there. I've got a big plug with eight plugs on it that I'm going to use. And I'm going to have a bit of a switch around and get all my lights, my Christmas decoration thingies up there. I'm going to plug in the glue gun up there and stuff so it leaves my desk plugs free then for when I am doing stuff that is a little bit more ad hoc. So that's the plan for today. I also bought this calendar from the works. This is the calendar that's going to go in the kitchen and I need to just fill it in with like important dates like school dates and stuff for this year. It's got quite a few inset days coming up 
for the kids and stuff so i need to sort that out we booked a holiday yesterday as well we go to jersey each summer and this year we're going on the ferry from pool so i'm excited about that we're going to be taking one of our cars i'm going to take the people carrier because we've got 10 of us all together that'll be going we go as like an extended family with my parents matt's parents um our nephew and his girlfriend will be joining us this year as well so that'll be nice so we need enough sort of transportation for 10 people so my bus as i call it will seat seven and it's got a nice big boot on it for stuff like chairs and things from the beach that we're going to take with us and then we're going to hire another car as well so that'll be nice i might do a video on it as like um an out of studio vlog in the summer so that'll be nice to be able to see it we don't really get up to very much when we go we tend to sort of park ourselves on the same beach and just decompress and relax which is nice to do the other thing i want to do today is maybe get my mink out of its box this was another christmas present i'm going to see if i can pick it up it's quite heavy so this is the machine i had for christmas it's the mink starter kit i think it's got foils in it and stuff to practice on i'm going to have a go and see how i get on with it later on today and that's another reason why i want to get the plug up the top because i'm probably going to seat this up there i might have a change around in here a little bit later on today and see if i can get that done depends how much time i've got because i've got to go and collect shelby from college at four o'clock today so yeah so i'm gonna do that hopefully get that done today um loads more stuff to do i'm gonna come back later or probably well i'm gonna come back one of the days this week and talk to you about my goals for 2023 one of them is to be a bit more organized and get more stuff onto my etsy store i've only got 37 listings on there at the moment and they say you should have about 100 but i'm going to try really really hard this year to try and add five listings a month i've got some ideas in the pipeline i've drawn up some ideas so i'm going to try and get some samples made and then i always take my photos in the back garden and obviously because it's raining the way that it is at the moment i need quite a sunny day to do it so that the lighting and stuff is good so that'll be another job for this week um, but yeah that's about it i'm rambling a little bit now so let's crack on with what we've got to do today i'm hoping that you can see this this is a cut from my oldest cricket and you can see just there it's a bit fluffy and this is a different card that i've not used before because hobbycraft have changed their cards since i bought my last pack and you can see it just looks a bit fluffy around the edges which means i've got to go over it with my knife and just sort of smooth it out so i don't know what's causing it i don't know if it's because i need a new blade because this blade has probably been in for 12 months and it's done a heck of a lot of cutting um so i'm going to try cutting on the newer cricket which is the top one for the next ones that i do and see how it comes out I also need to put this on more pressure when I'm cutting it and it still isn't really cutting it all the way through but I don't really want to give it two passes because it takes a lot of time to do that because these take quite some time to cut because I usually cut three on one sheet um, hmm. so I'm going to try and see if that makes a difference because I don't really want to have to waste time going over all of these white layers with my knife so let's see how it goes and I'm going to cut that on the newer one and see if having a newer blade does make a difference. This is finished now then. I'm sorry the lighting's not very good. Oh, Google's just turned itself on. This looks much better. So you can probably see how smooth that cut looks now. So that suggests to me I need a new blade in this one down here so i've got plenty of them it's just a case of popping one in um these are the new these are the new blades i usually color them in pink on this little doofer when i've used them so hopefully the new ones yeah there's an old one look see how that's pink on the edge can you see that the light a bit better that's pink on the edge that means that one's a used one don't actually know why i keep them um because i'm probably never going to put them back in am i but I always tend to keep them it's really weird one of those things so yeah that now we fix that problem we're back in business
is Wednesday. I've just been and made myself a hot chocolate because I'm absolutely freezing. It started off such a lovely day as you've just seen. It was really lovely and sunny and we went for our walk. We went through the park and into the cricket field. We were going to go and look at the animals but it was quite wet underfoot so I decided that we'd just walk all the way through and then make our way home. And it's lucky that we did because as soon as we got out of the field, it started to rain. It started to spot a little bit. And now, again, it is absolutely torrential outside again. So it started off beautiful. And I thought it was going to be a really nice sunny day all day today. And it's ended up being a real washout again. But never mind. Um, I'm, I have been quite busy today. I started work this morning at 8.20 I came into the office and started making the orders for Etsy I had four to do today they're all done they've gone the postman came and collected them at about 11 o'clock um, what time is it now it's 20 to 2 in the afternoon now so I've got about another hour of work left time to work because it's parents evening at Harley school today so I'm off to that at four o'clock I'll go and pick him up and go and get some bits and bobs done and then go back to school for four. I've got some Yankee orders to post out today as well so I've packaged the majority of those up there's just one one more here I've got a package up but I can't find a box that fits it securely so I've got to look under my desk and see what I've got. In between walking the dogs and working then today I've I have filmed a couple of YouTube videos so they are going to be edited hopefully Friday first one will go up on Sunday I've fallen behind a little bit with that but when everything else is so busy it's really difficult to keep up with stuff so I'm gonna do my best to keep on top of the YouTube tutorials because I do really enjoy doing them um, hello duck and um, what was I saying oh yeah I do really enjoy doing the YouTube tutorials but sometimes life just takes over and tomorrow we're doing the bathroom again so I'm not going to have much time spare tomorrow to do anything. I've just been doing a bit of planning in my diary and I've also finally got the um, calendar from the kitchen done and I've put in as much stuff as I can so far so I know when the inset days are and all that sort of stuff to do with school. Um, that's all done. I'm happy that I have gone through my diary and checked out everything I need to do for January and sort of early February time. I've got a few goals for 2023 that I wanted to speak about. So the main one this year that I really want to accomplish is to learn to use an illustration package. So I've downloaded Inkscape onto my laptop and I'm going to start watching some videos on how to master in Inkscape so I can start designing my own bits and pieces. I want to start sort of planning my content for YouTube as well a little bit further in advance so I've got all my ideas are written down here in my diary for January um, I haven't started on February's ideas yet but these are videos that I'm going to film for February so it'll be like a month in advance so I want to try and do that if I can one of my main goals as well for this year was to get more orders on Etsy than I got last year because I started Etsy around February time I think was when I went live with my first item. I want to grow my shop a little bit more so one of the things that I'm going to do is try to make a conscious effort to add at least three or four new items to my shop each month.
everybody it's Wednesday today it is the 18th of January um, it was a little bit chilly yesterday morning as you could see it was minus six when I got up um, in the morning and then when I got downstairs I had a quick look at the Alexa and it showed me that it was minus six I hate this weather and today it snowed it snowed yeah I hate snow I hate cold weather I am a summer person um, the dogs didn't seem too keen either, they didn't want to go out, but of course they had to for obvious reasons, um, so we made them go in the garden. Today is another day of crafting, making stuff, I've got a few orders to do, the diary is looking pretty busy for this next few days, I've got quite a lot of cupcake toppers and stuff that need to be made for people, I've got to make a black glitter 21st topper today, that's something a little bit different for a change, um, we have got some baby shower stuff in and then a christian at the weekend what else have we got um i've got two new items that i'm gonna be putting on to i don't know if i showed you i might have showed you this one the other day this is the um the 40th lady and then i've also done my neon but with a black instead of, i normally do that as a white so you can see it on this one this is one for harley's birthday so you can see the comparison between the two those that yellow at the top is the same yellow but doesn't it pop better on that black background so i'm going to list this one as another option today on etsy um and hope oh i've got this one as well this is an engagement one that i thought was pretty cute so i'm going to list that today as well um that's about it i think i've got lots of orders to do so i think i'm going to end the vlog here today and get it edited and get it up onto YouTube for you. So I hope you have a brilliant rest of January. Enjoy yourselves, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon for another one. Bye!